Welcome to The Deciding Point, our Crack Rackets weekly breakdown of the biggest storylines happening throughout the tennis world. On this week's show, I want to recap the 2020 Summer Olympics, the tennis coming to a close, first-time medalist across the board in singles. I want to talk about the action that unfolded in doubles as well. Of course, we did have some ATP Tour action this week. John Isner, Casper Ruud extending their dominance respectively. I want to talk about both of their success this past week. And then, of course, We've got the City Open on our hands, the ATP 500 back in Washington, D.C. Rafael Nadal making his debut at the event. Want to preview the field and so much more. All of that on today's show. With that in mind, Westoff, roll those credits. Let's get to the action. Let's wrap today's show by previewing this week's City Open. I am fortunate enough to be able to be on the grounds there this week. I will be in attendance, be on press row as well. So to check out all of our coverage of that event, be sure to check out our website, crackrackets.com. But of course, it's not often you get to say that Rafael Nadal making his premiere at an event in 2021. It is going to be his debut this year at the City Open. Of course, so frequently Rafa so careful at managing his schedule post clay post Wimbledon and he didn't even play Wimbledon this year he didn't play the Olympics because he was nursing a couple of different injuries he is electing to play this city open as he wants to get his hard court legs back under him before he's got the Rogers Cup he's got Cincinnati and then of course because of the current rankings rules he's still got 2019 US Open champion points on his resume right now he's technically defending that title as he didn't play in 2020 here uh, in 2021 at the U.S. Open. But of course, you know, Rafa trying to be, again, the first guy since Dolgopolov in 2012 to win the City Open in his debut at the event. And he's going to be tested because it's a loaded field here. At this ATP 500, you've got FAA as your number two seed, the three seed Dimonau or the four seed Dimitrov. But it's the depth of this field as you go through that makes it so impressive. You have, you know, essentially all of the guys who didn't play the Olympics elected to come play this event. And then, of course, you've got dangerous players like Francis Tiafo in front of a home crowd. Nick Kyrgios, who's always been dangerous in D.C., I think made the final there back in 2019. And just a really, really fun field of players. So certainly I'm excited to be on the ground. You look at, again, some of the upsets. We, you know, It'll be interesting to see Alex Diemenauer, who uh, was unfortunately unable to play the Olympics as he tested positive for COVID, see his health. Of course, hopefully he is healthy heading into uh, this event. But just up and down the board, you look uh, across it, and I think it should be a super, super fun first couple of days, especially if you're a fan of American tennis. You've got so many different young Americans in the draw. Jensen Brooksby, of course, Tommy Paul still around. Taylor Fritz is going to be there. Riley Opelka. You've got guys like Mitchell Kruger, Marcos Giron, who either found their way through qualifying or got into the main draw here. Jack Sock, Sam Query, both in action in the opening day. Of course, Brandon Nakashima, who's made back-to-back finals. Guys like Tennis Sangren. Steven Johnson, Dennis Kudla. Really, really fun for American fans to go see some of their favorites in action. Of course, full crowd at the City Open. Full crowds here throughout this North American hardcore summer. That is not something we could say last year. Hopefully, it's something we'll be able to continue to say throughout the entire course of this American summer. But of course, again, you look up and down the board at the draw here at this City Open. Top seed, Rafael Nadal. Again, your second seed is number two seed, FAA. Your three seed, Demon Hour. Fourth seed here is is going to be uh, number four seed, Grigor Dimitrov. You've also got guys like Yannick Sinner, Dan Evans, Taylor Fritz, Cam Nori, who's been so great this year, all within the draw. It should be a super, super fun event. Again, look out for From the Pressers. Look out for more coverage of that event as I will be on the grounds. But overall, the action continues. You've also got, I believe, three WTA events this week. So action continuing everywhere. There's action in San Jose, of course, as well. Be on the lookout for all the covered mini break week in, week out, day in, day out, and of course, as always, on our website, crackrackets.com. But it should be a super, super fun week of tennis in D.C. 